Hey y'all, it's me, NC. Yeah. I know. She looks different. I'm coming at you today with that raw and real. Yeah, no hair, no hat. It's me. I told you guys I ain't cut my hair a couple of weeks ago. It's going on already. I dyed it and I try to lighten it up and can my oils. But I orange. I didn't feel like doing none of that today. No weed. I just wasn't feeling it. Had to go to um my aunt's house for a try on for the my outfits. Had to pick four outfits to wear in the fashion show that's coming up next week. Mecklenburg Fashion Week. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, May. And it's Mother's Day weekend. That'll give me something to do because, you know, it's kind of sad for me on Mother's Day, you know, losing my son. But anyway, um, I've already said my blessing off camera like I always do. Um, just want to come at you with this mukbang of Chicken King. It's a, a chain, restaurant chain here. It's a little, it'd be in most of the hood spots called the Chicken King. They're owned by Greeks. I have flounder, jumbo shrimp. Here's a jumbo shrimp. Uh-oh. Pups, fries, slaw, and tartar sauce. This flour is pretty good. Of course, not better than mine, but yeah. Hope everybody's doing okay today. On this fantastic Friday. But you know, got to fish Friday when I load it. Well, anyway, so I just loaded one today. Anyway, whatever that is, when you're watching it, I hope it's going well. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button before you forget. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload that good, good for y'all. To my old crew, the love crew. Welcome back. The new ones just dropped in today. Well, coming back, you're not subscribed? Consider subscribing and joining the love crew. Because number what? Love, love, love over here. Positivity. Just trying to deal with everyday life. I vlog sometimes. Like I said, I'm on community um, activist things I do in the community. Might do a wig review. Might do a, a clothing haul. Might do a uh, grocery haul. Might take you in the grocery store. Might do a ride with me. You never know what you're going to get over here. Because this life will end up boo. Yep. Coming at you. Y'all, I got addicted to that TikTok. I was up late. Doing TikTok. And watching this um. When I first started watching it, I think Sunday, I thought it was a movie. It was called The Baker and the Beauty, something like that. Beauty and the Baker and Baker or the Beauty, or whatever. So it was good, but then I was like, it went off and it came back, back. It's a series. So last night I finished watching all of them. I never binge watched like for a show. It was cute. But, um, that's what I'm planning on doing this afternoon, too. Cutting up my bed. Watching the movie. So, this guy I met. He wanted to hang out because he wanted to take me out. Food and drinks closet, but I'm not feeling the vibe. Good conversation, but he people want to talk during the day. Boo, I work. He works too, but you can talk to me on a job. My job requires concentration. I ain't gonna say I'm never talking on the phone, but if I'm busy, I can't talk. I can't be chit chatting. Because my job, I'm dealing with people's lives. So, you know, I don't want to make no mistake. 
Anyway, and now he's hardly available. Say so go to bed early. You know, I was talking to him yesterday. Oh, you can call me anytime. But I told him what time I was calling. I shouldn't have told him. Between 6 and 6.30. Call him out 6.20. He's on the phone all for five minutes. He just want to hear your voice. You guys just call without a blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, what you get ready to do for the rest of the evening? He say, um, oh, I got a course. An online course. Oh, okay. I didn't mention that earlier. Anyway. So, okay, fine. All right. Talk to you later. Soon as you get out of the phone, start texting. Bruh. Why didn't you say that when you was on the phone? And I thought you were taking a course. Oh, now you need to be focused on the course. See? Boom. I'm 58. I'm old school. 63, baby. I know the game. Been not done yet. I'm not saying everybody will lie. Ain't no good men. But I don't have time for the boot. When I see them red flags, no. Because I know. I got that. When I get that instant, instant, mm -mm. that's something not right. No. We ain't gonna say. He wanted to do a meet and greet yesterday. Yeah. Another lie, because first you want to do a meet and greet yesterday. I told him I ain't know. But you didn't say about whatever you want to do. I got a course tomorrow, online course, so we got to meet a certain time. He was all for the meet and greet. He didn't say nothing about a course, but all of a sudden, you had to get off the phone because you got to take an online course. Boo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What did they say? Game. Recognize game. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for it. That's why I like being by myself. Not I'm selfish, but I don't have time to pull. I got a friend guy that I talk to with trip. We just friends. So I do like talking to males, but we're just friends. We don't know it's platonic. <clears throat> Sometimes we might hang out. And since the pandemic, we haven't. But um, we talk on the phone time all the time because we cool like that. When you meet somebody, don't lie about what you're looking for. Be honest. Live your truth. Tell your truth. That gives the other person an option. If they want to deal with your situation or not, it's just respect. You know, because some people are just looking for a sex partner. That's all I want to do, hang out, have fun. And, you know, you find a mutual partner, that's fine. But if y'all ain't on the same page, don't try to trick nobody. That's my issue. If you don't want to commit, that's fine. But right now, I don't want to, but you got to let the person know. I'm in the pool already. I'll probably let my son eat the rest of this. Cause I drunk. The whole thing in water, if I ate it, I'm thirsty, that's why I'm full. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. It would be nice to find somebody who chill with, travel with, do things with without the fool. I don't want to sound negative, but Cause there's some women out there too like that. I mean, people playing games. Men and women. So, you know. 
I don't talk too much on the dating. And I don't want to seem negative because I do believe in true love. I believe in love. I promote it. Love, love, love. But the right love just has found me. <clears throat> found me. With that being said, I'm good. Okay? I don't hate men. I love men. <laughs> but, and it'll be nice to have a companion. Because, you know, my doctor, my son passed. She went to the doctor. Because, um, you know, was getting depressed. And I want me to go to the doctor. So, he told me, he was like, Vivian, I wish that I had, I could write your prescription for a partner. Because that would really help right now. Yeah. But the right one. Because you don't want to buy this one. Bring negativity and when you're going through something. You know, it's supposed to build each other up. I want to be there for my man. I want to lift him up when he's down. I want to have his back. Whatever he's trying to do. I got you, but we in this together. See, you ain't got to have a whole lot of money. If we go on a trip, you pay for the room, gas. Boo, I got, got, I got us on the food. You know, going together. Because I know a lot of people don't have a whole lot of money like that. Everybody got bills. Everybody got, if you got your own shit, you got bills. Not unless you really, you know, got it going on. That's okay, too. But, you know, I don't mind helping out. I don't, I don't mind looking at, oh, he ain't got this, you know, of course, <laughs> a car and a you know, it's on place, but I really don't ask, ask for much. Anyway, let me start ranting about this dating. Hope y'all have a good day. Don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe to me. This is NC Justin's mom. Have a great day, y'all. Spread love, love, love.